What's up you guys, my name is Adriel and welcome to the video. Perks are one of the most important and game changing parts of Call of Duty Zombies. Juggernaug, Speed Cola, Double Tap, Quick Revive, and many other Perka Cola machines have been a part of our Zombies playing experiences for years now. We couldn't imagine it any other way. But what if I told you it was almost different? That the game we knew could have been completely changed due to a few small tweaks. Today I want to introduce to you four perks that were almost added into Call of Duty Zombies, but were scrapped for various reasons. This first one will be very familiar to anyone who plays a bit of custom zombies, and that's Ammomatic. This perk was supposed to make its reveal in Shinonuma and in Doris, but was cut from the final game. It's confirmed that this machine would have given you a max ammo upon purchase, and this is because of a sound bout that was found in the games related to the machine. Nikolai Belinsky says, an ammo machine, what a brilliant idea. Can you imagine if we had the opportunity to buy max ammo? How many games would have been saved or rounds completed? What I would want to know is if this perk would have really been one purchase only, or if it would have been rebuyable each round. I guess we'll never really know. This next one is one that I think could have been very good for earlier Treyarch maps, and that is Condolier. If you think that sounds familiar, you'd be correct. In Black Ops 4, there's a perk named Bandolier Bandit, which gives the player increased ammo stock in their guns. Condolier was supposed to work in the same way. In the same way that Ammomatic could have lengthened games, imagine any Black Ops map with the increased weapon clips. Your Zeus Cannon with possibly 40 rounds instead of 28, your Wonderwolf with 60 instead of 36. I don't know exactly how much extra ammo you would have gotten, but the point is that the high rounds could have been very different if we had this perk in the earlier Terror games. Now, how it would have affected those games, I guess we'll never really know. These next two are going to be paired together, and I'll explain why after I introduce them to you. Tough Brew and Pronade were two perks that were supposed to be brought into the Black Ops 1 map Ascension. Tough Brew's name gives the idea that it is intended to raise a player's health in some way. Plus, there is a quote from Tank that reads, Tough Brew, that's what I'm talking about. Now, come on, if Tank Dempsey has something to say about it, you know it's gotta be <clears throat> tanky. It could have possibly been explosive immunity. The other perk of this pair is called Pronade. Based on the sound files from Richtofen, Pronade was supposed to make you dive to prone significantly faster. If you combine the fact that Pronade made you dive to prone faster, and Tough Brew could have been explosive immunity, what perk involves diving into a prone position and immunity from explosive damage? If you guessed Banana Colada, you would in fact be correct. No, I'm just kidding. PhD Flopper seems to be the combined version of these two perks, which honestly I'm okay with. I definitely wouldn't want to use up two perk slots for something as simple as this. So what do you guys think? Would you have wanted these perks in the game? What kind of strategies could you have ran with them? Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe to join the party. We are quite literally the fastest growing zombies channel named Age All on this website and I'm pretty hyped about it. Is there a certain challenge or map you want to see me play? Is there a certain thing you want me to talk about? If so, drop it in the comment section below. I'm all about catering to you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.